All right, guys, the time has come. Um, obviously, it's been a while since I have posted. Um, things are a little bit different, as you can see here in the snake building. All the vision cages are gone. Yeah, I still have a few left, but uh, yeah, I decided to downgrade a lot. Actually, I have a bunch of snakes right here getting ready to go out. Um, these are the last of a few going out, some babies that I had produced that nobody is buying right now. I kind of don't want to breed right now because nobody's buying. Um, the North Pack, the Prairie Rattlesnake, the pair of Jumping Vipers, the Brazilian Lancehead, all going, all leaving. As you can see, I moved Crush's fish tank in here too. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a big collection and I have to get rid of you know, at least half of it because it's overwhelming with everything I'm trying to do right now. Um, also, if you guys are subscribed to uh, Pepe or Alex uh, or Duff Does Nature Stuff is his channel's name, um, you saw him over here helping me uh, not too long ago because my back is essentially worse than it was the last time I had talked to you guys about it. Um, and... I'm very limited on what I can do, and this is also a huge reason why I'm getting rid of snakes. So, with that being said, let's film an episode for you guys. Alright guys, so time to catch you guys back up. So it's now a couple days later since that little clip a second ago. Um, today's actually my birthday, it is February 23rd, um, so really exciting. Um, not really. I'm turning 34. It's nothing exciting about that. Um, anyway, so yeah, getting rid of a lot of stuff. Just can't really do it anymore just because of my back. Um, but as you can see, I did move some stuff around. The big paludarium is here in the room that all the visions used to be in. Um, Crush's tank is also now in here as well. Um, so yeah, just trying to get a lot of stuff, um, you know, taken care of. Uh, this is like the dart frog enclosure. I was so in love with this enclosure. And then when I went to move it, I realized that it's leaking. So you can actually see the water stain there. Oh, right, right there. Yeah. So that's actually from it leaking just on this table alone. So I have to disassemble this entire tank. That is not something I wanted to do. I was absolutely in love with this. I built this for dart frogs and well, yeah. Now, um, for the exciting news. You ready for this? So coming into this back room now is where I have all the vision cages. Look at that madness. My gosh. Um, now it's not gonna stay this way, at least this end here is not gonna stay this way. Um, these are definitely gonna be staying here, but um, yeah, it's this is, uh, so I wanna expand the planted rooms. I want to get other animals besides venomous snakes, other reptiles. Um, just one thing at a time. So right now, moving everything that was in that back room over here, I disassembled so many enclosures. Everything that was on this wall here, which is all like the smaller planted tanks and stuff like that. Uh, everything except for the cage that Tanner built and the one below it, the three by three, everything else got disassembled um, and repurposed for other builds in the future. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of, a lot of snakes already in here and I'm going to continue to be getting rid of some stuff. Um, our, our blue, the Argentinian Tegu and the green anaconda um, at the beginning of next week are actually getting shipped up to the Reptarium um, so I've been talking with, uh, Jay up there and they are going to be taking those animals, uh, as new ambassadors for, um, the legacy aquarium. So that's obviously fun and exciting. Um, very happy that they are going to be getting used for such an amazing place. All right, so now it's actually a few weeks later, like two weeks later, because I've been very busy. Like I said, I have to do a lot of stuff, um, but the room is looking right. Coral saying hi with that tongue of yours. Um, so yeah, moved everybody around, cleaned everybody, fed everybody, but I, I'm liking how this is going to stay. Obviously, it's kind of open there, and 
on that corner. Um, but I actually ended up hanging all the tools and stuff in that corner, a little entryway for me. And then I, this is all the water system stuff for our, the planted aquariums that I'm going to have to eventually move as well. But, um, yeah, so I like it. Gives me more room in here to work and be more comfortable. I got the crazy forest cobras up over there. Um, yes. Oh. What? I was going to say. You forgot what you were going to say. Um, can you tell someone's happy to be on camera? Anyway, uh, so yeah, coming on in here, started hooking up all lights and stuff like that, getting that all done. But I've been very busy outside, which I will show you guys in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, I did get rid of a lot of snakes. Oh, before I forget, um, I will be at Tinley this next weekend. So if you guys are going to Tinley, I'll be at the vision booth, working the booth. Make sure you guys come say what's up to me. Who's that? Who is that? <laughs> is it Sprinkles? <laughs> Sprinkles? Cupcake Sprinkles? Little girls, man. Cupcake so much fun. Sprinkles. Cupcake Sprinkles. So yeah, so I got the Four Kings here, uh, Mexican West Coast here with a big poop in the corner, Eastern Diamondbacks here, uh, the Snouted Cobra or Banded Egyptian Cobra down there. Okay, so I have both the Forest Cobras here and the albino monocle cobras down in the bottom there. Um, the two gaboons I have left here, um, sold the other ones. Gonna sell this big chunky one still too and just keep the one female. Uh, the bigger South American, the cambrake, some of the tree vipers down in the bottom. Puff adder here, yellow rat snake, Everglades yellow rat snake, pretty cool. Uh, the green mamba hanging out, and then down at the bottom, the western diamondback rattlesnake. Over here, still haven't hooked up the lights in these little guys, um, but Eurocone rattlesnake, smaller South American rattlesnake, and the uh, Deporus, the lance heads. Um, up here, the Mossasad rattlesnakes, which are actually getting shipped out this week, and the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. Um, all the tree vipers, for the most part, are in totes right now, uh, just until I get this room more set up and I have to build new cages. Um, all of the dark frogs are actually in this enclosure now because the other one was leaking, but yeah. But there's still, the eyelash vipers are in there, the Hagen's vipers are in there, uh, the fancy pan vipers are in there. Um, yeah, so much stuff has been going on. Um, I will do another episode outside to show you guys all the stuff that got built. Um, also had some baby Mossasagas born last week. Look at those little things. So teeny and little. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Crush, doing great. Um, lots of room for activities again. But yeah, I'm going to try and start posting, guys. Um, I do have, you know, some health issues going on. Um, I'm working through it best I can, so... Uh, definitely got to try and start posting for you guys. As you can see, Coral comes in and colors while I'm in here working, as long as I'm not working with snakes. Um, but yeah, just small baby steps to get back up, um, you know, filming for you guys, uh, with everything I've had going on over this past year, you know, for the stuff you guys know and then also don't know. Um, but a lot of fun stuff coming again at Tinley literally next weekend i'm super pumped for that never actually been to that reptile show so super excited for that um and i get to hang out at the vision booth and just meet as many people as i can so gonna be fun and exciting cannot wait for that um but i mean yeah i just wanted to film this quick little video for you guys get it up i know it's been at the range of like i want to say almost um three weeks this video is taken from the first clip to the end clip. Um, but I have a lot of work ahead of me still between uh, this building, outside, doctor's visits, all that fun stuff. So, so freaking exciting, I know. Um, but yeah, just uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. I will film some stuff outside for you. It is nighttime now, so I, I, I'm not going to go film outside for you guys right now. But um Little word for the wise, for those of you guys that have been a subscriber for a very long time, Puppy is finally home. So if you don't know what Puppy is, you will learn what Puppy is in the next episode. But Puppy is home, 
super excited that he is finally back home. It's been, I want to say two to two and a half years since puppy has been home. His last location was right there on that wall, but now his location is outside. So pretty exciting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you're subscribed to keep up with all these updates that I'm going to be uh, trying to roll out for you guys. Uh, smash the like button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one like always. Bye!